All right, I'm going to do a step through of a, uh, over, a, a graphic overlay. Um, this particular example is just going to be white, but you know normally we would do custom printing or whatever is needed for the application. And this one's been cut uh, to fit uh, over this, um, this mount. Um, we've done these for all kinds of equipment, um, obviously photo booths um, and all kinds of other uh, accessories. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is here's the graphic as it's been provided. Um, again, this is just white, so it's just an example. Um, but you can basically see um, see the shape, see that there's a cutout in the center. Um, so what we're going to do is just kind of walk through the ease of application um, or the method of application that we recommend for this. So what we would normally do is we'd take, um, rather than peeling this whole thing off and trying to stick it on there, obviously that's going to make it very hard to manage, especially as you get into larger and larger pieces. Um, so what we typically suggest you do is you just peel back enough that you've got alignment references. So in this case, we've got obviously you know the corner edging um, all the way around here. In this particular example, we've also got this center cutout. Um, so what I would suggest you do is just peel back just a little bit of the graphic. And what I'm going to do is come down a little bit into that center piece that's removed. And then just take your knife, cut away the backing paper to that point, and you get to put that aside or to the trash. And then there's basically where your cut line is. And so what this does is it gives you more references for your eye to line up with where you're going to apply it. So we'll slide the, uh, the piece in, and as you can see here, now the paper stays down here so you can move it around you don't have to worry about it sticking. Um, so you just want to kind of keep it up, the, the area that's exposed up, until you can get it aligned where you need it. So I'm just going to basically get this using the references that we have as aligned as I can. And you can obviously, this is the low-tech uh, removable area release vinyl so it's very easy to lift up and replace. And then once I've got it kind of where I want it, then I can just squeegee that down. I'm just going to use my fingers just to keep any issues from creeping in. And then once that's adhered, you've got yourself an, a, a good hinge point. So now what you can do is lift up the paper and you'll see that it's still attached, obviously, to what we're applying it to. Fold it over and then I'm going to peel back some more paper. Now you could peel it all, but it's a lot to handle on, on larger applications. So normally I just peel halfway. And um, then I'll fold it back over under tension, and then you can see, you can just start to lay the graphic down. Now we've kind of made it far enough that I can peel the rest, and again, work it down. You can use your fingers, you can use a squeegee, um, you can use a credit card, whatever works for you. Again, since this is uh, low-tech air-release vinyl, you don't have to really worry about it having bubbles and having problems. Um, but there you go. So you can see how the application works, obviously makes it a lot easier than trying to apply this whole sticky piece at one time.